was the fellow in our When I first came to Clinton, I cried. And I'm crying because I'm leaving Clinton. This is home for me now. It's what I'm used to. I spend every day here. I started in the daycare when I was three. I was really scared. When I first came, it was new. I thought my parents were abandoning me. <laughs> the first day of JK, I cried. I was scared and didn't want to be left behind by my parents. And on the first day of grade five, I also cried. <laughs> I was going to the LD class. I thought I was stupid, but I, but I changed my mind eventually when my reading was a selling and when I began. when I began to make a lot of good friends. I will miss my friends and my teachers and the comfort of a familiar schedule and routine. I'll be leaving all that behind, but I will be looking to the future, to a fresh start, starting new and, be, and being able to, to have a sigh of relief that some people will remember me and think of me as their friend. I'll always remember this place as my first school. Goodbye to my friends and teachers. But, um, I really, like, this school, I came here, um, and uh, I actually came late on my first day, but I still had a fun day nonetheless, and I've had some of the best years of my life here. I met so many people, and I have a really, really good friends in the audience, Jinjin, Hussein, and Tanvir. They've taught me that no matter what, and Sedora and Janelle, they've taught me that no matter what you look like, and no matter what label you have, you're still an awesome person. And every single person here has something that makes them special, and something that makes them a good person. And... <laughs> this school, um, I'm gonna take away, like, general knowledge that part of the curriculum for grade six, but I'm also gonna take away so many social skills and so many experiences that I don't think any other school could have given me. This has been a great, not just a great school, and I haven't just met great people, and I have, but it's been a great experience and I've learned so much more than what's on the curriculum. And I think that the stuff that I've learned here is more important than what we're actually supposed to learn. <laughs> Good evening for the last time. I'd like to thank the graduates from my room for a great year and the parents for being wonderful parents. So I wrote a poem about each kid. So Rachel, come on out. Okay, these are little epic poems, so they go on for a while, so excuse me. Rachel. Lord of the Rings, Lord of Chaos. Wherever she goes, things happen. Children fall from chairs. Unearthly songs of wonderment float through French class. Snippets of Shakespeare's sonnets arise when least expected. Where's Rachel? Has anyone seen Rachel? Rachel, champion of children's rights. She holds Anderil, her mighty sword of wisdom, high. Forged from the shards of Narsil, she slices through injustice and complacency. Chaos should be regarded as very good news. Yeah. Lucas Stacy. <laughs> Can I go to the washroom, Mr. Eckler? <laughs> but we just started our work with this. I know, Mr. Eckler. Can I go now? By the way, Mr. Eckler, I'd like to do a project that explains the behavior of matter, these intersections with energy, on the scale of atoms and subatomic particles, and how these phenomena could be related to everyday life. Is that okay, Mr. Eckler? Uh, sure, Lucas. And let me know if you need any help. 
Lucas, leaving bits of himself wherever he has been, unfinished homework, <laughs> comics strewn about, pearls of wisdom, squeals of delight, with the vast and fathomless mind of a dragon, Lucas has confidence in his wisdom. Alex Faraday. Like a king surveying his troops, or a Garuda soaring high in the sky, Alex sees the ups and downs of life with a bird's eye view. Trustworthy Alex, good friend. Alex full of anger if he can't finish a book. Outrageous Alex, flying wherever he wishes, with clarity and precision, balanced beyond hope and fear. Meek, like a tiger. Completely alert, she respects her surroundings. Kimberly knows when to hunt and when to find a cool place to rest. Humble, like a mountain lion. Free from arrogance, Kimberly learns the lay of the land before she leaves. Ever watchful, quiet, discerning, like a panther. She knows to move slowly, to feel where she is, and to appreciate her environment. Oscar Merchant. Oscar. Everyone loves Oscar. Smart, funny, original. One moment he's sullen and serious, the next moment he's derpy. Oscar, inscrutable dungeon master. His mind is like space, unable to be punctured by an arrow. Like dipper pines, Clever Oscar dares to uncover the secrets of the universe. He rides the horse of wisdom and compassion, only to discover that nothing is solid. Sorry, Chloe's first. Chloe Sandlong. Great wisdom, great artist, great curiosity, great energy, great tenderness, great earrings, <laughs> great kindness, great delight, all embracing Chloe, welcomes ice cream and laughter, or slings and arrows with one taste. Like a perky lion, she prances from mountaintop to mountaintop. <laughs> Kiri Stockwood. When Kiri raises her hand, it touches the sky, breaking through serious clouds to reveal a fantastical world where colorful ponies like Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy prance about. I am a millipede, she proclaims. Artful Kiri, persistent Kiri, Strange Kiri. Dancing Kiri. Kiri, who never gets angry, creates her little masterpieces for our amazement and our delight. And my last graduate is Tommy Tran. Tommy Tran drafted in the 53rd round of the Clinton Street Public School Foursquare League in 2012, has risen to all-star status on the Clinton playground in one short season. Never has this reporter seen an athlete rise from stinker to sublime so rapidly and so completely. He's a shoe-in for the Clinton Foursquare Hall of Fame in 2013. But who is Tommy Tran, really? I heard that he was walking hand in hand with Hannah Montana down the streets of Marrakesh. 
I heard that he comes from royal blood, and that his parents were king and queen of Trelf Amador. Supposedly, he left the kingdom and created the game of Minecraft. Really, who is Tommy Tran? Is Tommy Tran really... who? Let's ask him. He's not talking. Funny Tommy, clever Tommy, mysterious Tommy. I'm not sure, but I think Tommy would appreciate this poem. Or would he?